In this video, I'll be going over the GUI and different functionalities. First thing that you'll want to do when you first come in here is hit the reset button. Go into the diag screen, and if you're on a touch screen, make sure that your keyboard is activated. Next, you'll want to update your decimal point, possibly going to four points, and hit the update decimal. Also, if you'd like to protect the admin section, you can hit the password. Probably type in, for example, admin and hit the send key and hit the save settings. At this point only you will be able to access the diagnostic screen. I'm going to go back to the run screen and start from the top left and work my way down to the right. Your label of your axis can be changed by clicking in it. For example we could change this to the G. Not only does it update it next to your DRO but it also updates it everywhere else that it that DRO is referenced. For example ref G and 0G. I'll change it back to B. You have your machine positioning. This is the absolute positioning. It cannot be entered or modified. You have your offset, which can easily be typed into and changed. You have your cycle start feed hold, which gently allows the machine to ramp down to a stop. A stop will abruptly turn off and stop the machine, and also any other in or outputs that you have active you can also rewind the file. You can load a G-code, load up a recent G-code, edit G-code, or close the G-code. Under the advanced screen we have run from here, which you can choose a current line to run from. Set, ne set next line, which will actually execute that particular line and continue to run the file. The run from here will actually reposition your machine <coughs> before running and continuing to run the file. M1 optional stop, single block and delete block. Under jog we have jog on and off, MPG, step and continuous. You're not able to hit these until you actually activate and turn on the jog. So now that we're in jog mode, we're in step mode. We can also increment that and make movements. For example, if I'm at 0 0.001 and I move my axis, that will increment negative or positive directions. Under continuous we can set our slow jog rate. By holding that down I'll just freely do continuous jog until you release the, the button. You can also click to modify this by fives and the jog increment amount will affect that. So I can change this to a one. Also holding down on the button after a while will then increment it automatically for you. Hitting the reset will reset to 100. Your manual limits is if your machine has hit a limit switch. By activating this will allow you to back off the switch. MDI here, you can add a line by simply typing in your MDI line. Let's say I say G0B 1.23 and possibly sending the C to 5. Now at this point it hasn't been executed and nor has it been added to your MDI queue. To add it to the MDI queue we can just add add line and it'll add it in there. If you'd like to actually execute that line of code you hit the execute button. You may not be running a file or you'll get a message that will pop up and for example I will show you by loading a file. If a file is in process of processing, by hitting the execute it will say no MDI while file is running. Would you like to stop the file? By hitting an OK will execute a stop command. As you can see that I do have this line that I had typed in. For example, if I want to grab one of these lines, I just can double click and that will add it automatically in here and I can execute that. So it's very easy to add and build in a number of executable MDIs that you possibly use. If you have a file loaded, it will automatically load that file in your MDI section. If you do not have a file loaded, this will be whatever you previously had loaded. You can easily clear this and or modify it. For example, if I want my M3 to move down, I would hit the move down and it will move it incrementally through the list of command, g-code commands. I can also scroll up or down or I can use by pulling this to scroll up or down. I can also delete a line. I can also double click and add that line back in. I can also save the file 
and rename it and hit the save. You have your reference home, which will ask you first, would you like to reference all of your accesses? You have the option to hit OK or exit the command. You have your reference B. Let's say, for example, I hit OK. It'll then reference your B. Reference C, hit OK. It'll then reference your C. You can tell that the axis has been referenced because it goes from red to green with the DRO letter number, with the letter. You can also zero all, zero B, or zero C. You have a status bar here, which will tell you whether you're in e-stop or if there's any kind of malfunctions. You can also scroll through your G-code, and you can also type in which line you'd like to run from. It'll automatically reposition it to that current line. You have a elapsed time, how long the code's been running. By clicking on once, you can choose a different line. By clicking twice, then we'll select that next line. For example, if I wanted to start from line 18, I would simply click on that. Now we're on line 18. I then can go to my advanced section and tell it to run from here. It will then execute to that line and then tell me that press cycle start to prepare, prepare move, check spindle. I will then hit cycle start and it will tell me which position it's going to move into. After it has moved into position, then I hit cycle start to actually execute the G code. As you can see, I can also type in a number here simply. I want to start from line 5. Under the diagnostic screens, as you can see, I, I have entered an admin password. I now need to add in that password in order to access those screens. By hitting the OK button, I then have access in here. You can turn the menu on or off. You can also look at your IOs, check your ins and outs. Also check your message, mock settings, GUI, and special functions. If you have any questions, please contact Mock Motion. Thank you very much.